how do we know one MSH2 is expressed in the cell? <laughs> so <coughs> it turns out that in, in, in uh, most of the uh, cell cycle we have marker genes. So so the, the, for the eukaryotic cell cycle, it had the uh, <coughs> cycling. It had the cycling that will peak during the M, uh, 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 the end phase. Uh, I should have a slide there. Let me see. Well, you said something about a peak. Yeah, the expression of the MS2 will peak. Yeah, in G1 phase, that should be a peak. So, let me see. Yeah, so this is what the the cycling so for if we if we look at the the, the cell cycle at the at the clock, so M phase G1 and C two M and then you measure the expression level of various genes, the cycling genes will peak in the M phase. This is so Ah oh, excellent. So this is covered in one point. Excellent, yes. So cycling C D K uh, matters the promoting factor and the cell committed into uh, uh, M phase and then cycling degraded, a cell goes back to the uh, G1S phase. So, and if we, so, <coughs> and this is basically uh, the yeast gene expression. We can measure the gene, gene expression using microarray. So, basically, measure the expression of every gene in yeast and then. How do we know the MSH2 will peak at the sub, uh, which cell phase will, uh, MSH2 will be mostly expressed there? And the we M see. Phase? Is it the M phase or the. M phase, yeah. yeah. It, uh, no, no. Uh, it's. What's that? It's uh, actually the, the, G1 the gene phase? expression peak in G1 phase, but. It's protein activity mostly uh, occurred in the S phase or post S phase. Can you go back a slide? Yes. Go back one more. Yeah, that one. That's why I said the M phase because the peak is at the M phase. That's a second. Oh. This is second. I'm asking MSH2. Oh. How do we know the MSH2 peak there? But <coughs> here's the data MSH2. So MSH2. Uh, expression is this pattern. So those are the time. On the top of the time, uh, this one. Oh, what's the time of this? About 120 minutes. It's two cell cycle. So each cell cycle is about 60 minutes for this cell. Uh, but how do we know? Uh, say 30 minutes is that G1 phase? Right? How do we know that? Right. G1 I mean, you, you you measure the time, right? You measure the gene expression. How do you know at the 30 minutes? Well, should this be M phase, S phase? How do we know that? We have marker genes. We, we look for the marker genes, right? So we know the uh, cycling peak in P1. So and then we see the cycling peak. That peak should be the M phase, mm -hmm. right? So and then. Uh, then we also have markers for other phases, including S phase, G2 phase, and uh, M phase between M phase and G1. So we have several marker gene expression patterns. And so what, if we, we, we look at those patterns and see MSA2 is most similar to which gene? It's to the, should be to the G1, G1 marker. So then we know MSA2 peaks in G1. That's basically how we know. So this is called a profiling, gene expression based. Uh, uh, <coughs> well, I guess for for the uh, for the for the police work, profiling is a really bad work. 
basically based on the appearance to make judgment. But for gene expression analysis profiling is basically the the technique we are using now. Basically, if if the two genes look similar, we say you are from the you are doing the same thing. This is <laughs> yeah. So MSH2 looks similar to the GY marker. We say MSH2. Wait. So the uh, the first line you're comparing the first line to all the rest of those. That's the marker. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. the, the first line is the gene expression pattern of MSH2 in, at different time point. Oh, okay. So we have time point at the. Uh, 0, 7, 14, yeah, so the, the several time points mm -hmm. of the uh, gene expression level on MSH2. And based on that, that's the profile of MSH2. And you can actually see the red is high, so it's, it's highest around uh, 20, 20, 28, 35, 20 to 35 minutes, that's the highest uh, expression of MSH2. And that, uh, in, that, uh, in that range, you see the GY marker is also highest here. A little off, but the GY marker is higher. Okay. Yeah. So the first line is the profile of MSH2. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, where did you get those PowerPoints from, Dr. Shin? Uh, from the main, uh, the, the common, common section. Cell side garden cancer, hallmark of cancer. <coughs> There's also a review paper uh, you're supposed to read. Uh, hallmark of cancer. Oops. No, that's a slide. Wait, there is a review paper. Uh, oh, here, review paper. Question, what do we do with it? I didn't know that. 
cell and normal cell and if all of them are dividing you actually can also estimate uh, uh, how long uh, those phase are it, based on the population you actually can know there's a, there's a way you can calculate it because let's say uh, <coughs> yeah, all the cell are dividing and you take a hundred cells, ninety percent of them are, are in the G one phase, and then <coughs> ten percent are in M phase. What well, that means, ninety percent of the, the G one phase will take ninety percent of the time in the cell cycle. And the M phase will take ten percent of the time in the cell cycle. You see the point? Because you take any cell, it basically should randomly distribute in a cell cycle. But if you take 100 cells, 90 of them are a G1 in the interface. That means the G1 phase will take 90% of the time in a cell cycle. See the point? The assumption all the cells are going through the cell cycle. Yeah. So that actually is one way, but the tricky part is not all the cells are going through. Some of the cells are actually in the G0 phase. And also, uh, sadly, the cell cycle actually is not exactly the same in every cell. Some cells take longer, some cells take longer. That's what we By the way, I, uh, I, teach, uh, I teach a genomic class in the fall. So, if you are interested in how you use genomic data to, to, to infer about how to do some uh, about, uh, say, genomic function, gene spread, bio386 is something yeah. called genomics, proteomics, and bioinformatics. So, I will teach you to use some uh, software uh, to analyze the geno genomic data and then extract uh, some information. Oh, you love this class. You don't want to let us go. What? Well, <laughs> so you love our class. Uh, okay, so we have like, you to email you or are you writing it on the board? Oh, the question? I, I, let me like, have a look. Okay. Oh, we have, okay. Can we just call out the show? We're already having something. Oh, why there are most of them And then you can also say uh, 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 which one is most successful to ever take That's a lot. Okay, that's a question. I'm going to I'm going to 
Also come out some more put on the Moodle that give you an exercise on self cycle. Okay. What is cancer? That's too simple. <laughs> what? You want to say want to be No, she came up with what is cancer? cancer? Uh, in fact uh, most of many of the things uh, <laughs> cancer is basically some people will say cancer is this is uh, things are so excited that they're out of control. Uh, That's what cancer is? Yeah. Yeah, the cells. So the cells are out of control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And supposedly, uh, cells should sacrifice themselves for the benefit of the whole body. But if cell want to benefit just for that cell alone, that means it's actually over extend its normal range, that's where the cancer occurs. So cancer only occurs in multicellular system, right? Yeah. And for a single cellular system, that's actually always is cancer, if, if so that happens. So my question is, always cancer in a singular, like in a liver place? Uh, in a way, so single cellular cell should not. What? Can but for a single cell, it, the cancer is good for the cell itself because cell want to split as much as possible, yeah, right? But for the whole body, you don't want to the every cell to split as much as possible, right? Because you don't want like you want to the whole thing as a whole system, right? So if every stage going to use as much of the energy, and then let let's say Georgia use ninety percent of country's energy and the gas. <laughs> It's good for Georgia, but bad for the entire country, right? So, yeah. so the cancer cell will take a lot of energy, divide a lot of things. That's that's a lot of energy I will be spent. Right? Can we use that as a question? What? Can we use that as a question? Sure. Uh, how, how, actually, I mean, how I'm going to design another question? I, I, I have struggled. Yeah. Uh, Do we need to incorporate like ABC? In fact, uh, there is a very, very interesting uh, thing between cancer and a normal cell. Normal cell try to use energy as efficient as possible. Right? When you drive a car, you want to have a very high mileage normal people, right? <laughs> so you, you don't want to always race and break, race and break. Yeah. You want to drive as long as long as possible per gallon. You reasonable manage. Mm -hmm. That's normal cell. The cancer cell it seems to be want to accelerate as much as possible. Doesn't care about mileage. Okay, I get you. I so the immune system doesn't really have anything to do like controlling <coughs> cancer. What? The immune system can't really help cancer. Immune system can have. In fact, most of the cancer are caused due to virus infection related things. Virus. So do, does it like the immune system like inflict apoptosis on the cancer Yeah, that's that's one way. People, some some people. How do you kill cancer? This one, one is chemo. So, what? Chemo. Yeah, chemo. but chemo often kill. Chemo. <laughs> why chemo everything kill else. cancer? It's because, because everything else in this path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cancer cell has some special property compared to normal T something we call the Warburg effect because cancer cell actually more like a, like a yeast. This is interesting. So what is the yeast 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 cell will use uh, something called fermentation pathway. Fermentation basically is not going to burn out the glucose completely. It actually changes glucose to ethanol. That's a fermentation process, right? But for our body, that's terrible because we didn't burn all the glucose. We, we, 
we eat all this food and only a fraction of it actually used. So that's terrible. But the cancer cell actually does exactly that. It's going to burn as much of energy, but it doesn't care about the waste. Waste. So it actually used the fermentation. So that's what's causing the deterioration of all that waste being stored. It's using a lot of energy and not being able to eliminate the waste maximum. That's actually the problem in that mona. It actually takes so much energy from normal tissue. Right, so it's going to compete with normal tissue about all this energy and resource. Kill the normal tissue, right? Yeah, it's it's eventually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it also has an advantage because it, it, do, it does it very fast. It doesn't care about efficiency. It always cares not, about okay, the seed. I, 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 yeah. I was trying to figure out, like, what was. Because like, I know it had to reduce the amount of realize. Like, okay, you have a whole bunch of tissue. I mean, a whole bunch of cells replicating, but how is that damaging the body? I didn't know that it was like accelerating and taking up all the energy and suffocating the right, yeah, 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 yeah. So Basically, yeah, yeah. yeah. It also takes a lot of space, right? If, if, if the, all, every tile on the ground starts to duplicate, it also takes a lot of space, right? Okay. So, <laughs> it's going to block the normal function. So, but the ironically, the one of the significant trigger of cancer is virus infection. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like when you um get cancer, like isn't it bad like for people who you know may have a cold or something to come in and have like around you because like their system is so. Ah. But I think that, that happens after you take chemo because your immune system is damaged from your chemo. That's why they can't come around. But if you have cancer, I mean, because my uncle had cancer for years and he didn't even know he had cancer. We're talking to the doctor. Yeah, yeah. 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 They, they have some cancer. Uh, I feel like the chemotherapy is going to help. It depends. What's the main problem here? If cancer is going to kill your chemo or save you, I mean, certainly it's save you, but you also don't know. How much cancer do you have, though? Like how big the cancer is? When you take chemo, shouldn't it depend on how much, how big your cancer is or how widespread it is? Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So, I mean, if, if there's a cancer on the limb, if you amputate the limb, yes, that will save me. But, but it I'm certainly does. What? I don't want to amputate my limb. I mean, maybe yeah. eat better than like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it depends on what do you mean it's beneficial. I do feel like um, they should go ahead and then get a chemo share. Like, uh, some people is, don't believe uh, in surgery. Uh, what's the word? Uh, operationable? Uh, what's the word? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there are some cancer is not operational. Yeah. So, so that's bad. I just feel like... Chemo is too much. Yeah, I feel like chemo it hurts your body so much that, I mean, it hurts everything else, like, of course it goes and kills cancer, but then it hurts, like, your other systems, like, the meridians, you know, like, your body, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, chemotherapy, if you look at what they kill, it basically kills normal it's tissue, right. but because cancer cell, most likely they have more properties, so it kills more cancer cell, but yeah. it's also going to kill some normal cells. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, Kansas. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Shaw, what's another?